Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. Now, um, we're getting farther along with um, working with magic and feeling energy in the body and manipulating it into uh, our thoughts and desires. Well, we are going even deeper this time. We are going to enchant our very own doll. Now, if you tend to fancy yourself as uh, an artistic and your sewing skills are top-notch, you can make your own doll for this one. However, my skills aren't really that much. I do want to work on it sometime, but unfortunately, as of this video, no. So I'm going to use a doll that has already been made that I have. Now, um... What exactly is enchanting? Enchanting an object is filling an object with um, energetic thought forms uh, like prayers, spells, uh, basically filling it with your energy of what you want it to do. So say you wanted to enchant an object for protection. Obviously, you would charge it with your protection during a spell, a ritual, or even just praying over it can be a form of enchanting something. Um, does this mean the doll is going to be possessed now? No. No, 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 no. This is not possession, and this isn't conjuring. Conjuring is a different thing entirely, and it's most likely we're not going to delve that deep or that dark in this channel. This is for... Um... Something like protection, prosperity, uh, purification, uh, maybe uh, uh, enchanting for loyalty, whatever you want. Basically, we're going to fill this doll, in this case, with protection, protective energies. And this will not only protect um, the home and everything in it, but also ourselves from outside forces, whether they be spiritual or physical. Alright, um, so, here is the doll that we will be enchanting. No, her name is not Annabelle. Her name is Annie. Uh, she's a Raggedy, uh, Raggedy Ann doll that I had received from a thrift store. I've already done a cleansing on her just to make sure that nothing evil was brought with her. Now, why exactly did I buy a doll? Well, for spiritual reasons, of course. It's not like I play with this doll. No. I brought her so that I could perform some spells and enchantments on her. And um, she is going to be the doll that we are going to use in this experiment. Now, there's a fine difference when... Um, an object has become negative from a previous owner and enchanting. Um, enchanting usually is purposeful. Uh, someone does this intentionally to fill the doll with either negative or positive energy. Uh, in this case, we are going to be filling her with positive energy. And um, imprinting usually is done unintentionally because objects... Uh, say uh, the objects within your room right now, or wherever you're watching this from. These objects are taking in energy that we are feeling right now. I know it may not seem like it, but it is. These objects around me, they're taking in energy from me. So if you're stressed, they're going to take on the energy too. If you're angry, they're going to take on the energy too. But... We don't always know that we're giving this energy off. And therefore, we don't even know that it's affecting these inanimate objects. So that's why it's always good to cleanse uh, when time seems stressful. To make sure that these negativities do not turn back on you or get a hold of someone else. Like, say, you sell something in a yard sale but it has the energies of when you were angry. So now that anger is going home with another person's energy, and therefore it is going to become living and attack that person. We don't want that. So we are going to um, start our enchantment. 
And actually right here we have uh, a nice little table that I bought at a very pristine yard sale actually for uh, it was 40 bucks actually technically it was 50 bucks however I didn't have 50 at the time and I asked if they would take 40 and they said yes so it's a nice antique table so that is what we're going to be using as our little makeshift altar just a mini altar Alright now, so um, this is our little makeshift altar which we are going to use to enchant Annie. So as you can see we have these pentagram candle holders. Um, and these candles, I know they have been used, but I have used them in some of my uh, more powerful positive energy rituals to a particular deity. Um, the goddess Danu, the Celtic mother goddess. And uh, so I know where they're coming from. Technically, it is custom that no matter what you do, you always use fresh candles. But for some people who don't really have that lot of money or don't really want to go out and constantly spend money on candles, you do with what you got. And at least I know where these are coming from. So if you have some to which you know you've charged with positive energy before, that's fine. So I have a selenite uh, crystal, and I have two quartz crystals holding up her arms. That way the uh, crystal energy energizes her. I have um, a onyx bracelet around her arm. That way it will absorb any negative energy that she may have attached to her already. Um, we have a cross. Now, um, I know what you guys may be thinking. I thought you practiced witchcraft. I thought you weren't Christian. I actually am not. I am pagan. However, um, I found this on the ground when I was in middle school, and I took it as a sign that, you know, something wanted me to have it. So I took it home, and I filled it with powerful protective energy. And um, I've been using it ever since. And, of course, there's a tiny quartz crystal on her nose, if you guys can see that. Inside this little cauldron is a uh, cedar, and I am going to utilize that. And also over here, I have a salted caramel candle. Not only have I charged this candle with protective energy like these white candles, but I'm also going to use this scented candle to put me in a good mood. Um, because you do want to actually be in a good mood when you enchant something with positive energy. You want to make sure that your emotions and your mind is right. So this will help put me in a good state. I love the smell of this. It's one of my favorite besides the one that smells like coffee. <laughs> Alright, so, um, you can use sage if you want, um, but I'm using the cedar, um, uh, for right now. Um... If you only have quartz crystals and you don't have selenite, that's fine. Quartz is a universal crystal. You can use it for anything. Um, just two uh, white taper candles. And you don't exactly have to have a scented candle, but have something on the altar that makes you feel good. Maybe a picture of one of your loved ones that you love, or um, maybe have your pet present, although just make sure they don't interrupt the ritual. And be careful when having your pets around your altar because with the energies that you are doing, a lot of animals are sensitive to these kinds of things. So therefore, you know, they could freak out. So just be aware of that. Just have something on here to, that makes you feel happy. Even if it's money, just put it on. All right, so we're uh, going to turn off the lights right now. I'm going to put my camera on uh, night vision. But um, I would suggest that you light the candles before you turn off <laughs> the lights so that you're not uh, struggling in the dark. And then I'm going to fill this uh, scented candle. All right, we are about to begin the enchantment ritual. I ask for my protectors, the gods that watch over me, 
as well as my very own guardians, my guardian angels to be present with me at this time. Please guide me and protect me as I enchant this object and help keep anything negative that might want to destroy me away from this altar. Thank you so much. So mote it be. Meditation is probably the best thing to focus your energy and your mind and calm yourself. I hereby enchant this doll with the powers of love and light and positivity. Darling Annie, I fill you with white light, protection, and positive power. Let you be a conduit for all things positive in nature. Be the protector of this home and myself. Protect all who enter and destroy those who wish to destroy us. I fill you with warrior's spirit and strength. May your honor be just as good as your own positive grace. Darling Annie, I fill you with white light and protective energy. I hereby fill you with the protective energy that I see in my mind's eye and I feel in my heart and soul. I fill you with white light of protection the purifying light that shines on all things to rid us of our negativity and our darkness. I feel the energy. It's strong. I am filling her now with my own protective power and energy. I use this cedar to further empower your energies and also the tools that I'm using at this table and the crystals and the altar itself. The four corners of this altar shall be cleansed by the cedar. I fill you with power and positivity, strength, Annie. Strength, like that of a warrior who will do anything for his family, his friends, and all he cares for. Dear Annie, I pray that you are given power of positivity and love and light. I now envision the white light from above as it surrounds everything in this property, in this house. It covers all things and dispels all negativity and negative energy and negative spirits. May it shine and focus on this doll for it be filled with its precious power and love and light. Power and love and light. 
power and love and light, power and love and light, power and love and light. So shall it be for eternity. Oh, that was uh, pretty powerful. Usually during rituals like this, I will sometimes get energy that flows over me that makes me jittery and it kind of gets me a little out of breath, but that's how I usually know that it worked. Now I'm going to carefully take Annie and immerse her in the cedar smoke. I am now going to carefully just immerse her body, her arms, her legs, her head, all in the smoke. Everything that can possibly be immersed in the smoke. Now I'm going to place the quartz crystals here. I'm going to place her on top. And I am going to say a prayer to the goddess Danu, who uh, she is the my main mother goddess that I call to. I'm going to ask her to also place her blessings upon the doll, Annie. I'm actually going to use these onyx as kind of prayer beads. Goddess Danu, I call upon you in the time of need right now. Please hear my prayers. Continue to watch over me and my family as well as my friends. Please help keep us healthy and give us the strength to keep ourselves well off and healthy and happy. I ask you to be present now. To fill this doll I call Annie with your powerful motherly energy. Wrap your arms around this doll I name Annie with your motherly embrace. Fill it with all the love and warmth that you give off to your people as you will this doll. Please fill her with the powerful energy that you immerse me in. Provide her with strong, powerful, ancient energies, one of power and positivity and strength and protective energy. Blessed be, Danu. Blessed be. Thank you. It is done. How do you know that the enchantment worked? Well, guys, as I taught you how to feel energy, uh, basically use your hand chakras as kind of detectors. If you feel like a vibrational energy around the doll, and you might also feel some warm spots, almost like this doll is a living, breathing thing, that's a good sign that she is filled with a lot of energy. And hopefully it is filled with positive energy. Um, but some people actually like to enchant things for more amount of various purposes. Um, but in this case, we filled Annie with good and positive energy. And um, 
I will eventually do the same with the rest of the dolls that I have. But right now, I just wanted to use uh, Annie as kind of an example for you guys uh, of how to enchant uh, a doll, per se. But literally, you can do any kind of object, really. Uh, if you can hold it in your hand, or um, if you can see it or touch it, it can be enchanted. Um, a lot of people enchant things like uh, this Onyx bracelet because they can actually wear it, uh, which is fine. Um, tiny crystals like this you can put in your pocket, or you can make a little necklace or keychain, or even put this in your pocket, too. But um, for things, for dolls, they're more stationary, and usually you keep them in your home. So this is kind of a way of us having some more insurance. Now, this isn't to say that if you enchant the doll correctly, that you don't have to, you know, keep safe in your home. It doesn't mean that you can leave all the doors and windows unlocked and no burglar will ever step in. But this should have some extra energy to kind of deter uh, burglars from entering. Now, if you want to keep strengthening the doll's energy, you can continue to pray over it at your altar. And anytime you uh, feel like you're in a good mood, you can just hold it in your hand and fill it with all that positive energy. Um, or you can use it in any ritual or um, just pray at your altar with it. That's another way to strengthen an enchanted object, is to continue filling it with energy and praying with it. So, therefore, um, I conclude that the enchantment was successful. Now, I'm going to keep her at the altar for one night. And uh, if you're a person who can't exactly do that because you live with other people and it might get in their way or they might say something... Um, then that's fine, but if you want to keep strengthening her, you can keep her at the altar. Uh, obviously watch the candles. I wouldn't, uh, leave the candles going, but if you have some incense, uh, you can leave that going. Alright, guys, um, I think that's pretty much it for us. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions or concerns, please feel free to put them in the comment section down below, and I will get back to you. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that you don't miss another one of my future videos. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to share this video with as many people as you can. Okay? Me and Annie are out.